This is Property Influences, where we talk to some of the leading figures in the retail real estate market. So thank you very much for uh, agreeing to answer some of my questions. My uh, pleasure. I thought we'd uh, first start with your primary objectives of attending MIPIM this year. What would you say those were? Okay. Um, this, this to, to, to be very honest with you, this will be the first time uh -huh. that I'm actually attending MIPIM. I, I must say that it's a very well organized conference. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to attend MIPIM was, of course, to hear some of the good speakers that they have. Uh, lined up, uh, and, and these are very experienced people with uh, knowledge about you know the various markets and various sectors that uh, that uh, that they are involved in, and, and that kind of maps back to what Maple Tree is all about. Uh, we we are a Singapore-based company. Uh, we're very much into real estate, but we also have a very thriving capital management business. And when we talk about real estate, uh, where Maple Tree is concerned, uh, the company actually is uh, invested in various countries in uh, Asia. So what uh, a lot of the topics that MIPIM covers in a way is relevant because these are the markets that we are invested in. Therefore, we want to know what are the developments happening in those markets. Uh, another reason why uh, I'm, I'm here in MIPIM is also to meet with uh, investors. Mm -hmm. Our focus is very much on the major markets in, 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 in Asia. And we are already in China. Uh, we are in various parts of China, and it's not just in one sector. Uh, we, all, we 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 started out investing in logistics properties in uh, in China, and we've st since then extended into industrial properties. Uh, we are also undertaking a few um, commercial mixed-use developments, um, un primarily under a, a, a fund that we established in uh, sometime in. 2008, late 2008. And where do you see the main growth areas uh, around the region? Well, um, I think China still has a lot of potential. Um, I was interacting with someone this morning and the topic was very much on what's happening in China. I think just to put things in context, um, if, if you look at um, inland China, the inland provinces in China, um, Demographics. We're talking about a, a, a group of people, the, the number of people there, almost as much as what you get in Africa, for example. Yeah. So um, there, there will be opportunities uh, to expand into the inland provinces in, in China. I think that's that's a key market in the in the region. In what sort of area? Residential offices. Uh, well, um, I would say a bit of both. I, I, I think um, there's been a lot of attention devo devoted to the tier one cities, yeah. uh, you know, but uh, those other cities uh, in the inland provinces will probably require quite a broad spectrum of uh, real estate. I think there's 270 cities over a population of a million. Something like, something like that. Something like the, the numbers is quite mind boggling. Yeah. Uh. Um, when you're walking around the exhibition hall, mm -hmm. uh, what mm -hmm. sense do you get in terms of mm -hmm. optimism about mm -hmm. the markets? Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, the, the delegates that we have here in MIPIM uh, are a very realistic bunch of people. I think there is uh, caution in the wind, but uh, people are, like, like for me and my company, uh, they are also positive in terms of the opportunities that um, the current environment will throw up. So for the smaller um, entities, it may be more trying in terms of getting the necessary capital to take advantage of the opportunities that presents themselves. But for larger organizations like Maple Tree, for example, it is actually something that is uh, good. Okay. There is, there has been uh, interest in the east for quite some time now. Uh, I think that hasn't changed. In fact, uh, given what's happening in the west, that in, is 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 just heightened that sense that uh, if if you want to make money, uh, uh, it's a less risky proposition. You should be looking at the major markets in the east. Uh, it need not necessarily be just the mature markets like Singapore, Hong Kong, 
Japan, you know, but also uh, Australia, but also um, I, I guess emerging markets like China and India continues to to attract a lot of capital. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Thank you for your time.